In this second part of our Switzerland vlog, we'll spend two days in the Jungfrau region, then head north to Zurich and Munich before finishing with a loop through Bavaria and Western Austria. Today is finally the day of our Via Ferrata tour. We started by sleeping in a little bit and then grabbing some pastries. And now we're headed up into Trommelbach Falls before we take the lift up to do the Via Ferrata. We explored the waterfalls and caves at Trommelbach Falla uh, for a while. And then we headed back to up to the top of the mountain to Murin to have a little bit of lunch before heading out on the Via Ferrata tour. Via Ferratas like this exist in various forms with ladders, iron pins, and other climbing aids to help you traverse through the Alps while staying clipped in. The Via Ferrata was way better than we were expecting and we had high hopes. It was amazing. Uh, highly recommended, fantastic trip. A little bit scary, you are on the edge of the cliff stepping from post to post as you go. We went across a zip line, a wire bridge, and what they call a Nepal bridge. It was just a great trip. We had a blast. Everyone said it was one of the best uh, adventures we've had on any of our vacations. Now that we're done with that adventure, we are heading back to Interlaken to get some dinner and call it a night. Well, maybe we'd get a game of soccer in before bed. This morning we woke up a little bit earlier and took the train over to Grindelwald and then the gondola that's behind me up to Fierst. We're gonna take the glider and then we're gonna do the cliff walk and we're gonna try and do the mountain carts and the scooters. It's our big day of rides. And Away. From the top of the mountain, we took the gliders, which were a blast to get down, and then we rode the mountain carts all the way down to Bort. The mountain carts exceeded all expectations and were our favorite part of today. They were just a blast and they went way faster than you would expect. <laughs> and after the mountain carts, we hopped on the trotty bikes to get the rest of the way down the mountain. And those were fun and a little bit scary too. And now we came back up to the top of Fierst, where we are walking around, taking in the views, and then we'll head back down to the valley. After we made it down the gondola, we decided to come over to Shanaga Plata to have dinner on top. Unfortunately, we arrived just after the kitchen closed, so now we're gonna head back down to the valley for dinner, but we did have some really nice views on the cogwheel train up to here. After Shanaga Plata, we came back to Interlochen for some dinner and then called it a night. And with that, our time in Interlaken comes to a close. We're gonna hop on a train this morning and head up north to Zurich. We got to Zurich this morning and headed straight to the Rakit factory for some lunch. And then we climbed up to the top of the Grossminster uh, Tower. Uh, got a view out over uh, all of Zurich. And then we went to the FIFA Museum and explored, learned about a little bit of soccer, but really just played some games and had some fun. And now we 
are heading back to the train station to catch our train to Munich. We arrived at the Munich Bahnhof exhausted and headed straight to bed across the street. We started today bright and early at the A-Loft in Munich. We wanted to get up early because we had very early tickets to see Neuschwanstein Castle. Uh, unfortunately, even getting up at six uh, and getting the rental car, it took us a while to get there and we were hustling, nearly jogging our way up to Neuschwanstein Castle. But we made it in time and toured the interior of the castle, which was uh, fascinating. I thought the tour was a little dry, but the, the actual castle itself was just beautiful. From there, we went up to Marienbrücke to see the views of the castle and walked around the castle a little bit before taking the horse and buggy but ride back down to the valley. We had lunch at the brewery in town that was just delicious. One of the best meals we've had so far on the trip. From Neuschwanstein, we headed south to Ehrenberg Castle and the High Line, where we're exploring the castle and walked across the longest suspension bridge um, of some type for the Guinness Book of World Record. But it's getting late and it's time for us to head back to Munich for the night and get some good dinner. After a wonderfully scenic drive through Austria and southern Germany, we had time for a walk through Munich and visited the Hofbrauhaus to finish the trip with an iconic meal. Time to fly home and plan our next trip.